hello friends welcome back to the tutorial form validation using javascript in the last tutorial we have seen how we can validate text inputs like a name etc um, in this tutorial we will see how we can validate an email address email address validation using javascript is uh, not efficient because for the email validation we have to use regular expressions and the regular expressions will never match with all the valid email IDs so in the uh, email validation uh, the standard method is send a verification link to the registered email address and ask the user to uh, confirm the email address or verify the email address using that link on the client side we just on the client side validation we'll just make sure that the email field is not empty and it matches the email uh, standard email address format which is like this some character then an at symbol then some character this is the email address format and will on the client side will just make sure that the user entered string matches with this format using regular expression we have a site called rejects 101 and will uh, where we can create regular expressions and uh, we can test them online now mm, the regular expression which matches with this format is we'll just make sure that it has some characters first then an at symbol then it has some characters after the at symbol now the regular expression which matches this format is first select the javascript flavor and then every regular expression starts with a caret symbol and then uh, a dot which is all the character accepts uh, except a new line this format matches all the characters except a new line and then we want uh, we want a add symbol and then again all the characters except a new line and then the regular expression ends let's see it matches with the format or not xxx some characters then a add symbol then some character see it is matching with the format now the user has to enter a string like this if he enter or if the user enters any string like this it will not match or if enter a string like this then also it will not match this string must match the email format so we'll use this regular expression to just make sure the uh, email address format on the client side using javascript so let's start coding now this is the form this is the email address field and here is the code html code for that field this is the input field it has an id email now let's add a script tag to write some javascript code in the head section of the html document create a function which will validate the email address function validate email it uses an argument which will uh, using which will pass the id of the email address field as we have used in the text input validation it will be field id or whatever you can use 
mm, let's first attach this function to the input field we are using same event on blur mm, as we have used in the text input validation on blur and then validate email and then the parameter which is the id email of the input field we pass this in single quotes like this so we have attached the function now let's write some javascript code first we will grab the uh, user entered value from the field using the document dot get element by id property and save it in a variable a variable my email is equal to document dot get element by id dot id is email field or field id the argument using which we are passing the parameter or id of the field dot value this grabs the user entered string and save it in this variable now first we'll process it with the trim function as we have seen in the um, in the text inputs or text input validation so let's first process it email is equal to my email dot trim this removes the extra spaces from the string now first let's check that user has entered some value or it uh, the field is empty if it is empty then we will alert the user if my email is equal to is equal to empty string or my email is equal to is equal to null then we will alert the user alert please enter your email id now if the user has entered something into the field then we will check with the format of the email address that we have created in a regular expression we will match it with the regular expression if it is matching with the regular expression then we will accept the email id and if doesn't match it with the regular expression then we will alert the user now if uh, it is else if not um, my email dot match if it is not matching this string which is in this variable if it not matches matches the match function compares it the value with the regular expression and if it doesn't match with the regular expression we will alert the user here we'll write the regular expression first to let's see first to uh, we have to enter two backward slashes like this and two forward slashes then we'll enter this regular expression copy it just and paste now this is our regular expression and the match function matches the string which is in this variable if it doesn't match with the regular expression then we will alert the user alert 
प्लीज एंड वैलिड वैलिड ईमेल आईडी सो दिस इज द कोड विच विल वैलिडेट which will validate the email id on the client side <coughs> now let's see it how it works refresh the page now if i remove the focus from the field and if it is empty then we'll see a message please enter your email id let see the message is appearing please enter your email id okay now if i enter some characters here and as it is not matching with the format it will say please enter your please enter a valid email id see please enter a valid email id okay let's add like this now also it is not matching with the format so it will alert the user see so the user has to enter a valid format which is like this so this is how we will validate the e an email address on the client side so we'll leave the tutorial here in the next tutorial we'll we'll see how we can create a strong password using a regular expression how we can help our users to create a strong password please uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts or please uh, comment in the comment section below the video also uh, share my video and give us a thumbs up to my video thank you for watching we'll meet in the next tutorial